Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Jack, where I, Jack, aspire to inspire those around me as I continue to evolve on my journey. A big part of evolving and inspiring those around me is documenting my walk with God, what it means to me, and how I apply his word to my life. Now, today's devotional is titled, God Preparation for Life Transitions. And the scripture I have is Psalm 46, 5, which reads, God is within her, she will not fall. Now, Jakira <laughs> has been struggling with managing her time, prioritizing God in herself, and just allowing everything around her to control her rather than she managed them. And it led me to call out of one and of two of the jobs that I have. I called out for two days. And within those two days, I found I've gained a lot of clarity and peace and reassurance. I watched two sermons, one called Play Your Hand by Teray Roberts and A New Tone by Sarah Jakes. Great sermons. I definitely think you should give them a listen. And it gave me the, the reassurance on why I need to finish or why I need to allow God to prepare me rather than me try to manage things on my own. When God prepares me, it requires me to it, it requires me to be stretched. Stretched in ways I've never been stretched before and it's uncomfortable, it hurts, and to back that up it's kinda like Hebrews twelve eleven, which states, No discipline is fun, it's painful, but um but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living. AKA it's not fun. You're going to get stretched. You're going to exercise these muscles, but you're going to gain the results that you desire in the end. I feel as though, you know, well, I wanted to quit. I was mentally in a stage where I was just like, you know what? Working two jobs is too much. I'm doing too much. Like if I just quit this job, like I'll have more freedom. Now with freedom, sometimes comes no structure if you're not mentally in that capacity. So now it led me to think like, okay, after watching the sermons now, it led me, it led me to say, okay, Jakira, how can you use these jobs to your advantage? How can you, what can you gain from these jobs? What is God trying to teach you? What lessons do you need to be learning? Will you, which you are, will I, still show up for myself the moment this first job, the moment you leave these jobs. The mo the same way you show up for them, are you going to show up for yourself? I feel like I have an entrepreneur mindset where it's just like, I know what I want to do, but my drive, I have a poverty drive. I have a drive that is lazy. I doubt myself. I'm not consistent. I, I could start, but when it's time to be consistent, I, I just don't. I don't follow suit, suit sometimes, depending on what it is. And it's like, no, Jakira, you need to start what you finish. You need to start what you finish. Why? Because starting what you finish is teaching you one of many things. It's teaching you how to be more disciplined. It's teaching you the importance of actually just completing something, regardless if you like it or not. It's showing you what you can do even when you don't want to do it. This is when discipline over motivation comes in. And in order for one to be disciplined, one has to value God's preparation. You have to allow him to prepare you for what this life has to offer. Right? Right. So, again, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to allow God to stretch me. I'm going to exercise not only physically, but mentally and emotionally and spiritually as well. Because the moment I start to continuously stretch and exercise those muscles, I'll evolve in ways I've never even expected. <clears throat> and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be like this spiritual, beautiful butterfly. <laughs> just like, because my wings are already there, but the wings are just going to start flapping at that point. <laughs> right, so... I'm going to be okay. I don't know what's going to happen over these next couple of days. But what I do know is that I have to start showing up for myself. 
I want freedom, but or I I want to do things my way, but I don't even know how to be submissive, or I don't know how to submit to God. And it's just like no, this is this is God's like this is what we're not doing, Miss Mamas. No, Jack, that that's not how it goes when you walk with me. Walking with me requires you to follow me. God leads, I follow. Period, <laughs> and that's on Him. So that's my devotional for this week. If you are struggling with the same thing I'm going through, I see you, I understand you, I feel you. But now it's time to just take his word, apply it to our lives, and move forward. It sounds so easy. Things are always easier said than done. But with my closing mantra, I know it'll be the reassurance that you need. And you can repeat after me. I got this because God got me. And because God got me, I got this. All right? Until next time, guys. <laughs> so hard to be some. All this work that I'm putting to be someone. Still give it up. Just to talk to you one on one. But you know.